hooty hoo and what it do i hope you all had a merry christmas and welcome back to my channel so i know i said i was gonna do 12 days of craft 12 days of christmas 25 days of christmas crafting and i did not do that and for that i am so sorry i just was not in the christmas spirit and i did not want to craft anything and i did not want to set up a camera so instead i'm gonna try and help everybody out and teach them some things that i learned on my journey with brilliance so if you need some help you want some tips stick around and i'll show you all right ladies and gents so on my screen i have opened up a blank page of in brilliance and for today's lovely tutorial i'm going to teach you guys how to remove jump stitches that are unnecessary have you ever downloaded a file and it's crazy with jump stitches all over the place and if you're like me you have a single needle machine and that just pisses you off so what we're gonna do is we are going to start by opening up a file i'm gonna try and remember one that has some super annoying jump stitches um so we're just gonna wait for my computer to take its sweet time to open up the files here my computer just woke up so hopefully it'll do what i want it to do and not completely shut down like it's been doing all december okay boom this is what i'm talking about all these ridiculous stitches look at this what is this someone please explain to me what this is let me go ahead and rotate this so it fits in the frame so you can get a better idea what i'm talking about okay so first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna turn this into my preferred thread all right so the audio got cut off a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and try and do this all over again all right so the next thing that you want to do is we are going to actually do this J just to clarify i'm using a in brilliance essentials the very first in brilliance you can get i don't have stitch artists i don't have whatever the other ones are i'm really cheap i can only afford the one so this is what we're using okay so beginner uh, in brilliance essentials we're going to go over here and we're going to find our stitch simulator basically that just shows you how your project is going to stitch out that's what we're going to be using to remove all these dumbass jump stitches okay all right so when you go and press the play button which is this one right over here it's gonna start off by showing you exactly what's gonna how it's gonna stitch out what it's gonna stitch out first and then you go from there if you take a look right here right over here let me let me push play again right here we don't need this this is unnecessary so this is the first step that we're gonna get rid of okay so my talking is probably going to be ahead of how it is going so just bear with me all right so we're going to use these two blue arrows right here these ones are these ones take you back stitch by stitch so you if you want to go back one two three stitches it that's how you're going to go back so we're going to go all the way back to the beginning and we're going to push stop okay so once we get all the way back to the beginning of the stitch uh we're going to push stop and we're going to change the color by changing the color uh it's gonna tell your embroidery machine that hey this is one stitch by itself um it's going to be separate from the other stitches so in short we see here now that unnecessary line is pink and then where my project really needs to stitch out i changed it to whatever color this is i can't remember what color it is i can't see it um we change it to that color and that's where we really want our project to begin okay so i'm actually going to cut some of this because this video is like 30 minutes long and i don't need to talk for 30 minutes so i'm going to fast forward through it some of it and then i'm going to come back and explain some stuff okay all right peace out
Okay, I just want to jump in really quickly uh, right here. Um, so what I'm going to do here is to to change the color of this stitch from the top of the cupcake to the face of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click my forward one stitch button until I get to the very last um, tie off stitch of the cupcake and then I'm going to push stop so that my design won't try to tie off a new um, design just to jump from the top of the cupcake down to the cheeks. So once I push stop right there and then change the color that I want the cheeks to stitch out, it's going to completely remove that stitch period. Um, if you remember the original design, the top, the, the satin stitch of the cupcake and the cheeks were the same color. You can still leave it that way, but I'm going to show you how to do that at the end. Alright, so we're coming up to my favorite part. This is the part where you get to finally get rid of those stupid jump stitches. So you're going to open up um, this part where it shows you what number is what. All you're going to do is you're going to click on the color of those jump stitches and you're just going to push delete. You're going to go down until you find every single one that you changed and just delete those SOBs, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you just go all the way through um, delete the ones that you don't want um, there might be some here like like uh, the ones between the eyes um, and the mouth um, or the little tiny ones um, at the top where the little I'm assuming these are supposed to be like sprinkles at the top here um, there might be little stitches there that you can't get rid of but that's pretty much it so let me go ahead and get to um, skip to the part where you can see um, a side-by-side -side comparison okay now I'm just going through and showing you how it stitches out with all those pesky jump stitches that were unnecessary and then I'm just gonna go through right here and I'm gonna change each of the portions of the design back to colors that I actually want So now I'm just showing you right here where I'm going back and I'm changing the design back to the colors that I want to. Um, now it doesn't have stitchable jump stitches. So if you have, you know, a single needle machine, if it's gonna go from this face to the next face, of course I'm gonna have um, one jump stitch, but I'm not gonna have a jump stitch that actually stitches into my project. Um, like one, two, three, jump, 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 and then start stitching. Uh, stitches I won't have to actually remove. Um, it'll just be regular long uh, jump stitches that I can cut with my scissors. Um, but if you have multi needle machine, it's not gonna have any jump stitches, of course. So um, again, I'm just changing the colors back to the, what I want them. And then I'm gonna show you the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like, um, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, uh, tell me what I could have done differently, what you'd like to see next, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.